We have been out here in the desert for the last two days having an amazing adventure with our good friends from Australia. We've been out here showing them our backyard, just having an awesome time. And we're here at one of our favorite campsites. And well, we've got every campsite set up and some amazing vehicles that they just brought from SEMA. And so what I wanna do is take you, walk you around camp. I'm gonna give you a little update on the Jeep. Marco's here, we'll talk to him. He's got something really interesting in the camp kitchen. And then we're gonna to talk to Justin from Patriot Campers and talk about the vehicles that he's brought. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy this little walk around. Let me pull the camera off the tripod. Let's go say hi to everybody. Okay guys, got the camera off the tripod and first thing I wanna do is show you this amazing camp spot. This is one of our favorite spots out here in the desert. Uh, it's nice and secluded, it's private, and uh, if we get any wind or weather, this is a, we got great protection. And uh, everybody's already kinda relaxed and hanging out. We've had an amazing day out on the trail, a really epic day actually. And Patriot Games has been filming the entire adventure for the last several days. And so if you want to see what we've been up to out on the trail in these amazing rigs, make sure you go check out Patriot Games on YouTube because I guarantee uh, that the film crew that they're walking around here, you'll see them, uh, has done an amazing job and they're going to put together an awesome video. Okay, so these vehicles we will talk about in a moment. And we'll talk about kind of how the Aussies do it. They do it. We'll do it a little different than we do it. But first thing I want to do is give you an update on the trailer and the Jeep, and then we'll go check out Marco and talk about his trailer and Jeep. So first of all, we Regina and I have had the X3 now for a little over four weeks, and we did that trip all the way to Virginia and back for Overland Expo. Then we went to Texas, and so we have spent many, many nights in this thing already. And I can tell you, we have quickly fallen in love with this trailer. Regina absolutely loves it. Now she couldn't join us for this trip because I would love for you to hear her reactions, but we'll get her on camera and talk about it. But we absolutely love the capability and just the convenience of the X3. For her, she's got a lot of privacy. She wants to get dressed in there. It's super nice. And we've still got the amazing kitchen. We've got all the power. We've now got a bigger fridge. We've still got plenty of water. One of my favorite features is the Wabasto heater. So now we have hot water, that's pretty cool. The Red Arc Red Vision system makes it a lot easier. It's a great setup, it's been a very, very nice upgrade. Uh, we did the initial video on this and we'll do, we'll do like a six month review and kind of really bring you up to speed, but so far, we are very, very happy with this upgrade. Oh, one thing I did do, because this guy is a thirsty beast, is I added a couple rota packs right on the front and I can tell you on our trip to Virginia and back, uh, those got used more than once, so it's uh, that was a nice upgrade. Um, now let's talk about let's talk about the 392. You guys know I love this Jeep, but I actually just got it out of the shop the day before we left for this trip because I was getting that code for the locker sensor. So I had no lockers for like six weeks, and that trip we did in Texas, I was out there wheeling, and it was all throttle and tire placement because I had no lockers and so we were having we were having a great time but it was struggling. I took it to the dealer and they actually re replaced finally after the parts came in the sensor in there and uh, it's all taken care of. It's working great now. There's a lot of people that have talked about having to replace the entire axle. I can tell you the dealership that I took it to they just pulled the diff, pulled the ring and pinion and put in a new sensor and so far so good. I'll report back later and hopefully it holds up. But everything else with the 392, yeah, it's great. I love it. I did add some A-pillar lights. So these are the KC Flexera 3s. So that's a nice complement to the bumper lights. And we were out on the trail unexpectedly late at night. And so we had it all lit up. And so I was glad to have kind of a ditch light. Gave me a little extra of a light out on the trail. So that was awesome. So the Jeep's great. The trailer's awesome. Life is good out on the trail with this system. Now, my brother from another mother. Hey. How are you, buddy? What's up, brother? It's been a while. This has been a great trip, dude. Man. It's been catching up. Yeah. But we got to talk about a few things. But most importantly, what you made at camp last night in this thing right here. For the first time. What is that thing? 
It's a pizza oven. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I got a friend of mine, Chef Leopoldo, who introduced me to this thing. And, and ever since I saw him making pizzas in this thing, I said, I gotta get, I gotta have one of these. Yeah. So uh, I got it from the UPS truck. I put it in the X1N. Oh yeah. And I. You go. opened it out of the box. Yes. Yesterday. Yes. And he made seven pizzas, seven guys. Pizzas. Seven pizzas in this oven that runs off of propane. And I gotta tell you, they were pretty dang on good pizzas, oh, dude. Yeah. I mean, we're talking pizzas at camp, and those were oh, very good. Yeah. Now, you've got the you got the genie bottle going on over here. Yeah, today. I got the Afghan uh, pressure cooker. Yeah. Where I make my birria. You, so we're gonna have tacos de birria today. Oh yeah, and I know this crew. Oh look, they're staring. <laughs> they're staring. Uh, they're ready for some of Marco's yeah. tacos. I yeah. Think it's... Last night was fun because Sarah made some Italian pizzas, yeah, and yeah. I make. Mexican pizzas. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah. So, buddy, you also got a trailer upgrade. I'm loving the X1. Yeah. Yeah. It's, look at this. Look at this kitchen. Right. L-shaped kitchen. Yeah. Because um, before you had the X2 that had the kitchen in kind of their fridge in the back. Now everything is just laid out really I nice. love that thing. That yeah. thing is nimble and, and I like it. It goes everywhere. But right. for cooking, this is this is the perfect yeah. setup. Yeah. hundred you know. percent. And how do you like towing it behind the 392? Oh, it's not there. <laughs> it's not there. It's not there. Not there. Even with the oven and everything that yeah. is in the trailer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Oh, the oven. Yeah. What is the oven we're talking about? Uh, I got a 12 volt oven. 12 volt oven, yeah. and you installed it on the other side. That's really clever, yes. man. I, dude, yeah. this thing is going to be, this is going to be like the ultimate rolling food truck trailer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. love it. Okay. Yeah. How's the how's the 392 been treating you? All good. Yeah. All good. I have it on 37s now. Yeah. I haven't done the re-gearing yet. Okay. Which I'm gonna do next. What do you think you're gonna go with with gears? 488. Okay. 488. I think that's a good call. I, I, I have so. four, five, sixes, and I think 488 is probably the sweet spot. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I had it on 38s for for a couple of weeks uh -huh. uh, before I get the got the new wheels and tires. Yeah. But uh, it feels good. But I'd rather have it in thir on 37s, and okay. 488 will work really good. Okay. And you are also just at SEMA. Yes. Uh, how was it? Oh, it was awesome. Yeah. It, it was a lot of people, more than last year. Okay. Uh, I think it was really, it was really good, a good turnout. Okay. And I was at the James Brew with the uh, booth. Yeah. And, uh, and you yeah. like, and I have the James Brew for a long time, and it's a great tent. Yes. Uh, you have their awning, and then what do you have on the other side? It's the privacy tent. Can we go take a look yeah, at that real sure. quick? The privacy shower cabin. It's not open right now, but uh, yeah. It, yeah, it, so you it's got a full length awesome. shower. These poles come out, and then what I like is it has this this top on it. So you can, yeah. yeah, that's really nice. And it, it doesn't weigh too much, a couple of pounds maybe? Uh, no, it's not that heavy. Not that heavy. Um, nice. Okay. What else going on with three? Oh, you got new wheels. I got new wheels. Let's go. Let's go around the side and talk about your wheels. Because I like them. You had those bronze wheels. But I, had, I, I had bead locks, uh, right. but I decided to go with regular regular wheels. Yeah. Uh, these are the new Nomad um, split spoke. Okay. They are really, really awesome. And and they're. I mean, what do they call this? The air down system. It's self deflating it's just system. Just the air down system. Yeah. yeah. So you basically take this one of these off and you twist the other one. Okay, one, it's the, uh, it, you know, it covers the regular valve okay. there. Um, but uh, you remove it to use the gauge or something sure. or, or air, airing up. Okay. The air down valve, you just open it and in seconds right. it'll deflate the tire. And you were telling me this is not a beadlock, but it's got like a, a ring on it. This is like a protective ring? Yeah, it's, this is plastic. Okay. And they call it the rash. Uh, guard. Okay, so if you scratch it up, it's easy, or tear it up, it's easy to just swap. You can order out. in red, white, or black. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm loving those wheels. Yeah, they look good. I, I like the black wheels on your Jeep, and the black wheels on your trailer. I think it's a it's a good matching combo. What uh, you mentioned gears? Anything else on the future um, for the Jeep? I guess that's it for the Jeep. I oh, mean, dude, uh, you can't say it's done, can you? It. I think it's done. <laughs> <laughs> well, buddy, uh, this trip has been awesome, man. It's it's been. Great. I mean, okay. the one weather has been just couldn't ask for better desert weather. The people we've been with have just made it so special, all right? I mean, they've just been having such a such a blast seeing our backyard. It's been so much fun. And then you and me, dude. It's been. I mean, we were talking. It's been a while. It's been a while since man. we've been out. So it's good to it's good to be out again, dude. Uh, 
I'm, we need to do more of this uh, this winter for sure. Absolutely. All right. I'm gonna go grab Justin. What do you think? What do you think about these these trucks I got, dude? <laughs> it's just crazy They're to see him crazy. on the on the trail. It's just like, and the six by six did uh, sandstone canyon. Yeah. That. <laughs> you, you look at this thing and you think it's just a beast, but it's so capable. Oh, so oh, yeah. let me go grab this guy and let's hear all about these trucks. Justin. How are you, buddy? Dude, I'm so thankful that you brought the whole family. <laughs> we are so us. thankful that we're here, man. Yeah, yeah. thank yeah. you. Yeah. We have had a blast with you guys. Uh, two days is not enough. No. No. So. We're yeah. actually we're starting to come down now because we're dreading we have to leave tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Does anyone want to go? No. 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 Do you guys want to go? <laughs> no, the kids yeah. definitely don't. So tell, tell us, you left SEMA. Where did you go? Um, so we left SEMA. We kind of we we were planning on going and doing a a very hard track, uh -huh. which you recommended on not do but we won't say what that is because okay. that might still happen later on true um so we ended up um we changed plans because we had some severe weather come mm -hmm. through where we were going yeah we ended up uh, crossing the mojave yep. on recommendation yep. um from you and marco so we crossed the mojave desert um that was amazing yep. spectacular then we went and spent a day up at big bear um up wheeling in the snow with the yep. kids that was yeah. insane and what you guys get the wheel in the snow all the time so no big deal oh yeah no no like australia's just covered in snow it's like, <laughs> <laughs> we got snow everywhere and we go ice fishing and we do all that sort of stuff yeah. over there. What a unique opportunity. Now, look, you can do it in Australia, but it's it's very, very restricted what yeah. you can do there and where you can go. There's sure. places like the high country in Australia. Yeah. We've unfortunately never been down there. Yeah. Um, but that that what we experienced in Big Bear. That was, you were was having amazing. fun. You pulled winch a little bit up there. Yeah, we got, the, we got the winches out. We yeah. got a rear winch out. Yeah. We, um, yeah, we used the max tracks. We had, um, yeah, yeah. But true, true kind of Patriot Games yeah. Yeah. style. And then, uh, and then you came into our backyard. And then we come straight in your backyard. What do you think? And man, it is. I don't. The closest word I can think is maybe, maybe spectacular. Huh. Maybe that will get somewhere near. Um, I just hope that the cameras are really going to show what we've experienced yeah. here the past couple of yeah. days, because that what I think what California has to offer, let alone the United States, it's beyond any of my wildest dreams. You know the. You guys are so blessed, and I hope you don't take it for granted that the different access mm. of terrains that you have within two hours here or an right. hour there, you could be on another planet. Yeah. And I think we said this last yeah. night. It's like day to day of this trip. Mm -hmm. It's like we've gone from planet to planet, yeah. and we haven't even left the state of California. No. It's just it's spectacular. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. We're, yeah. we're definitely blessed. Yeah. Uh, we, no, we're, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. And what I've enjoyed, uh, one, is seeing your reaction to all the all the stuff, because that just brings joy to my heart to see you guys yeah. having a good time. Yeah. But also, dude, watching your trucks yeah. navigate some of these trails and some of the obstacles was has been awesome. Like, these things are super capable. And this is coming from a Jeep guy, so there yeah. you go. I, that, that just came out. But can we <laughs> can we talk about these trucks? Can we start off with the well, iconic one let, first? Look, let me, let me run you through. I'll okay. run you through. They are, they're touring trucks at the end of the day, or overlanding trucks, as you guys would uh, call them, and that's what they were always built to do. They weren't built to do the big, flexy, crazy, boulder crawling. That's yeah. not what the, the the Land Cruiser platform, and specifically the 79 Series platform, is right. all about. You know, These things in standard form, they come with a leaf sprung rear end. Mm -hmm. um, this one's been extended 300 mil. They love to pick the front wheels up. Okay. The 79s are just famous for picking up the front wheels. The balance is not really good from them. Um, not, I shouldn't say it isn't good, but isn't suited okay. to, to, to wheeling from the factory. So probably two of the biggest things that we do, or we do with the Super Tura builds, or this one that I built in 2015, this one was cut just behind the cab here. Okay. And then we add in about 300 mil, so a foot extension uh, to the chassis. Okay. And we convert it from leaf springs to coil springs, yeah? Yeah. So we put in a, a coil conversion in the back there. That gives it a bit more flex in the back. It kind of, and that uh, extended length distributes the weight a little bit better and stops it from trying to lift those front wheels up because they, they don't flex very well at the front. Yeah. Mm. And what size wheels and tires are you running? So in Australia, I normally run this thing on 35s. Okay. Um, but here in America, because I don't <laughs> have the Australian laws, oh, yeah. we're running on 37. So we're actually running on uh, the Goodyear Wranglers, which is a tie actually my son, Christian, is running back at home. Okay. Um, and I'm a really big fan of this tire. We're okay. running BFGs on the other two trucks. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the 37s, this thing was geared for 37s mm -hmm. last time it was in the United States sure. in 2017. So now it's back on 37s, the gearings come good again. Okay. You know? Yeah. Mm. I, I know this is an iconic truck and it's been filmed many times, but can yep. we just talk about 
Um, talk about just a few of the things that you've got, like bumper lights, yeah, and especially okay. the rack so, and tent and all that good yeah, stuff. Yeah, without without going into into real depth. So, yeah. um, some of the things that we've got fitted is obviously we got a bar, scrub rails, and side steps. Obviously, for a lot of protection in Australia, um, you know, uh, animal strikes is a, is a real big thing when you're traveling out west, especially kangaroos, specifically right. kangaroos. So, really, in Australia, hoop bull bar is really a necess uh, necessity if you're traveling out west and, and especially at night right so you can see i've got enough lights here from x-ray to, to burn the tarmac oh, and, yeah. and that's for that reason as well it's yeah. safety i want to project light as far as i can mm -hmm. up the road and uh, i've got uh leds on the side that shoot out mm -hmm. onto the shoulders yeah. and these 300 mils shoot out to the, the yeah. shoulders of the road uh, as well we needed it the other night when we were coming down that yeah. steep drop we, yeah, we, we all had our lights on 100 yeah. percent. again this wasn't really built for the wheeling but you know projecting that light out onto the shoulder of the road is where animals come in from the side they mm -hmm. never come at your head on yeah so that's why the, the the car's got so much light on it i've got um gme uhf yeah your, your antennas are just so beefy compared oh. to Oh, they're, the these, you, can't, you yeah. can't break these yeah. things. So this one is, oh, I'm actually just looking at I think this one's a 2.1 DB. Okay. Uh, but normally when I head out uh, west back at home in Australia, I put on a 6.6, .6, which is about a metre or 1,200 mil high. Yeah. Yeah. So generally speaking in the, you know, this sort of terrain where we're in canyons and that at the moment, sure. the, the shorter whips work work a bit better, okay. you know, with the 2.1. Yeah. Um, I've got a 12,000 pound winch on the front mm -hmm. um, and I've also got a 12,000 pound winch on the back, which I... Uh, bent the winch cradle up at Big Bear um, yesterday. <laughs> so we had this thing double hooked up. Yeah. Christian had it double hooked up. He was pulling from the front and we were losing the trailer off mm. the, the, the side of a, an embankment into a, a tree. Yeah. So we got the rear winch out, but we had to hook it back this way, kind of on a 30 degree angle back to another tree because we were trying to pull his back over as we were trying to winch the front up yeah. so we didn't lose the trailer into a log. Um, I think that's going to be pretty exciting to yeah. see on the episode, but yeah. I actually bent the winch cradle, which is the first time ever. Um, up the top there, I've got a Rhino Pioneer platform. Um, I've got another 1200mm X-ray light bar. Max trucks on top. Um, that's a necessity well, of also... Before we go back any further, what's under the hood? Okay, so it's a 1VD. So it's a 4.5 litre single turbo Toyota engine, okay. diesel, okay. right? Diesel, diesel engine. In Australia, diesels are still, if you build a, a, a truck in Australia um, for overlanding or touring, uh, diesel is 90% of the vehicles yeah. over there. We're yeah. a big fan of diesel. Okay. Yep. Yeah, awesome. A um, lot of power upgrades though, bolt on turbo, intake, all the rest of it from yeah. the boys at GSL. Well, look, this thing's home. been going, no problems. Towing a trailer with all the weight, it just goes. The black truck is is the, the truck that out of any vehicle that I have or have ever built, and you know, I've built some pretty crazy rigs now. Like the one behind it. Like the one behind <laughs> it. This is the one I trust the okay. most. You okay. know, this, this car, yeah, it's broken stuff. Yeah. But it's never let me down. Yeah, you know, and a lot of memories in this thing. A lot so. of memories. This yeah. this this truck is it's part of the family. Yeah, you know? your wife and I, Sarah, were talking about this earlier. That that this truck is just it's like the family vehicle, and that's to me that's the JK, right? My silver yeah. Jeep has been. Yep. You know, we have so many memories in that thing, and and it's you know I love the 392, but the the JK just has you know it, it, place, that, special it hit, place it, in my heart. Yeah, it hits your heart. Yeah. yeah. You know the, all the memories that you know the first memories that we have of Patriot campers with the kids and the family. You know all the touring trips we used to do. All five of us used to be yeah. in this truck, and then. And, you know, the boys started doing their own thing, and then me and Sarah were in this truck, and now I've got my boys driving this truck, so and we're in another truck, and yeah. it's just, yeah, it's part of the family. Yeah, it's very awesome. sentimental, this that's car. Awesome. So, yep. the tray on the back. Yep. Uh, so, this is the first, uh, before Pecor was even Pecor. Okay. This was the first generation of tray that I ever built, and okay. it, like the Patriot Camper, it, it came built out of necessity, yeah. really. Mm -hmm. So I was hunting a lot back in those days. So you can see here, this the box at the back is actually a dog box. So this panel here unbolts, mm -hmm. and it's ventilated, if you can see from the back. Oh, yeah, yeah. And this is where I used to run my dogs in the back when okay. I used to go out hunting. Right on. So in the front, in this one here, um, I've got a fridge light with a Dometic fridge. And then a little kitchenette down here. So the actual, the, all of the cooking gear would be in here. So mm -hmm. I'd have plates and knives and you can still see some leftover sort of stuff. Yeah. You know, so it, this all functions when it's in 
proper touring mode without taking a trailer right this is this is your kitchen area okay, right in on. here and it works really well yeah yeah all right the awning i don't think i've seen this awning or the rooftop tent before. yeah so this is a this is a company again from australia okay. uh, called camp king they're actually only an hour uh, north of patriot campus okay this is the first time i've ever used their products as well okay so the black truck was always was built with a james barood and it's had a james barood on it until we were coming to the united states okay and i got talking to the owners of camp kings and we we're going to see them and all the rest of it and they're launching their brand over over here and we're like yeah dude why not you know yeah, what i mean yeah. an australian brand on the, on the australian truck right um we've been really impressed me has yeah. been sleeping up in there um the awning we haven't used a lot this trip mm -hmm. but what i love about this awning is obviously no poles yeah that's cause, super nice because you get a rigid hard fixing back yeah, to the roof yeah, rack yeah. you know it doesn't need that support so that's right. that's really nice yeah yeah and look uh the we just don't use these in America. Talk, talk about swag. Why? Okay. What is the fascination with Australians and swags? They're just that. Look, you have one roll. <laughs> everything's in one roll, yeah. and it's your whole bed is there. Now, I still swag a lot, okay. right? So when I go away, and generally speaking, if we go away as a family, yeah. normally Mia sleeps in the X3 with Sarah, okay. and I take my swag. Okay. When I'm out racing back yeah. at home, yeah. I'm always in the swag. Yeah. They're just so easy. Inside there, you've got inflatable mattress, you've got LED lights, you've right. got boot pockets. This is a brand called Ranger okay. from Australia, and okay. these guys are, are starting to get really, really popular. Yeah. Um, you got a ground sheet down here, so you chuck your, your uh, ground sheet. You got a little uh, bag that Velcro's on there. Yeah. Um, that you can put your boots in and that, so you don't get snakes and spiders coming in the middle of the night. That's sure. happened to me. Yeah. Before. Oh yeah. Well, Taking my boots off and yeah. I got into my swag, mm -hmm. gone to put my boot back on, and I've stuck my foot in there, and I'm like, what is that? And snake inside my boot. Yeah. That, that's actually happened to me. Yeah. Well, in Australia, they're they're fine though. They they're fine. They don't, they don't even hurt. <laughs> they don't want they to don't, kill you. Or yeah, I'm still alive. They're, they're all right. Yeah. All right. Uh, you got the uh, the X1N. Yeah. Of course, you got it in code red. In code red, uh, which is yeah, uh, my yeah. my favorite color. Well, you you were a big part of the code red mm -hmm. launch. Um, let's talk about that the tent because I was watching your son set up this tent and he broke out a cool. air pump, dude. What is going on? This is cool. So. Dometic just launched this at SEMA, and we have a really tight with uh, relationship with Dometic back in Australia. Yeah, and um, they actually had this trailer on their booth at SEMA, okay. which we, we got lucky enough to have this on their booth at SEMA. And um, during SEMA, the, the team there at Dometic said, "Look, you know what? This is the only one in existence right now. Yeah, this is the the pre uh, manufacturing launch That's prototype. Right, and they were like, dude, take it away. Yeah." Give us some feedback. Let us know how it goes. Use it hard. Mm. Um, and man, it's fully inflatable. Yeah. So you plug an electric pump into it. There's not one bit of aluminium, yeah. poles, nothing inside. Six and a half PSI and inflates yeah. in under 60 seconds. Yeah. Ten, job done. Yeah, I watched your son do it. It was it's amazing, and, and the material, I mean, it, it's rigid. It's really good. Yeah. I mean, this is like this is probably like a marine, you know, type of uh, yeah, well, inflatable the, material. It's not going to puncture. What they were saying to me, it's um kite surfing technology. Oh, okay. So you know the kite surfers, how they have those leading, yeah. So, but if you have a look at, like, oh yeah, yeah, it's man, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah amazing. That's yeah. rock solid. That's the way the technology is going. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Simple. Mm. Okay. Now can we talk about, dude? I, My other baby. Man, I love this thing, man. And watching it out on the trail, watching mm. you get flexy in a six by six. Yeah. What's what is? Let's talk about what it is first of all. Okay, so this is also a seventy nine series Land Cruiser. Okay. So this started life in the same lot, same place that the black truck yep. did, right? Yeah. So after I built the black truck, black truck in two thousand fifteen, and and that thing went, it went bananas. We never intended that thing. That was in mag featured in magazines all sure. around the world, and it just people still talk about the black truck, mm -hmm. right? Um, and then it was like, right, how do we top this? And and it was actually a mate of mine, Jason from J Max, yeah. who, who owns a company back in Australia, who was doing all of our core conversions at the time. We started talking about and throwing the idea around. And he's like, man, I reckon we can do it because I had a fascination with the with the Mercedes okay. six by six. Yeah, love the thing. Yeah, you know, love the look, the style. Um, and we were talking, I'm like, man, you know, we could do it. Anyway, he went away and he designed the kit and mm. he built one and he tested it and he's like, right, let's, th yeah, let's launch yeah, this yeah. thing. You want to build one? So we built this and then like everything, the build just blew up. So this <laughs> thing is, it's true six wheel drive. Yep. So we have uh, electronic locker, a factory Toyota electronic locker in the mm -hmm. front and mm -hmm. the very rear axle. Yep. Then in the center, we've got a Detroit soft locker. Okay. Yeah. So when we do break traction on that center diff, we get all six wheels engaged. Yep. This thing's also running on portal axles. Yeah. So this has a portal, uh, portal drive gearbox at 
at every corner. So Justin, for people that don't know what a portal axle is, can you explain it just real quick? Yeah, so what it is fundamentally, it's a reduction gearbox. Mm -hmm. So it's a way we can reduce the drive for running bigger tires. But the, one of the big advantages of portals is the way that if you imagine your axle comes out and typically you have a hub here, yep. fundamentally you have a gear here and a gear at the bottom yep. and then your hub comes out the bottom. Right. So I've got a hundred millimeters, I've got four inches yep. of axle lift yep before we even look at lifting. I love suspension. that you just converted uh, millimeters to inches just like that. 25.4, <laughs> 20, I need to know this stuff when I come over here. Um, so yeah, we've got four inches of lift in the portals mm -hmm. and then I've got four inches of lift. This is on a full air ride system oh, yeah. as well. Yeah. So I can go from zero to uh -huh. two inches to four inches oh, yeah. in the airbags. Yeah, I've been watching you raise and lower this thing. Just up and down when, all, when I need to go. Days, dude, it's super, yeah. super At the moment, cool. it's in its low, low position because we're set up at camp. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And is that, and that, that's your roof rack up there? No, so uh, look, the side rails are, and all the bracketry are, it's actually a Rhino platform. Okay, got it. But the, the all of the roof racks at the time for 79 series are really ugly. They've got this ugly contraption that sits on the side, mm. and I wanted to integrate light, so we designed up all of this sheet metal to hold the platform. There's okay. a red arc solar panel on top, uh -huh. and um, yeah, it just looks a lot neater and gives me some... Yeah. For all that uh, side projection light that I need as well. Okay, and then uh, you've got some, uh, you know, just some smoke stacks coming up. Some big stacks. This thing makes huge horsepower <laughs> yeah. for for a diesel. Um, so this has got uh, GSL Fabrications back at home. Uh, that they, they are the guys when it comes to Land Cruiser tuning back mm -hmm. at home. This thing's got massive turbo airbox. Um, we've also converted this from a manual transmission to a LC200 automatic transmission. Okay. This thing used to love lunching clutches. Yeah. Like it would, honestly, it'd be like 1,500 kilometers and I would destroy a clutch yeah. because there is so much drive, so much traction and so much weight. Um, so I bit the bullet, I spent the money, it was a big dollar uh, conversion to, to convert it to an automatic, but one of the best decisions I've made because now I can really control that torque, you know, with, with the amount of grip that it gets. Yeah. So what, what is your general thought on four-wheel drive and now six-wheel drive? What do you think? I, that's, that, you can't beat that You can't thing. beat it. It is, you, this will make anybody look like a genius when it comes to off-road. Yeah. As long as you can fit it on the track, yeah. right? There's nothing can stop this car because the sheer amount of traction and having those six 37 inch tires on the ground yeah. and all driving with the automatic now, it just, you've seen it. It yeah. just, it's, it's like a caterpillar. Yeah. Like it just, it caterpillars and boulders and what it does, it doesn't worry it. It, it, it was, uh, it was so unique watching these two wheels guys do flex independently. Yeah. And just yep. gripping obstacles and just going right over well i see uh, i've seen a lot of uh six by six conversions that happen here in the united states yeah. and some of the some of the, the the bigger brands that are really well known and they're still sitting on like roller rocker leaf springs mm. which to me it kind of defeats the purpose yeah. so the way that this has been engineered and this is not my brainchild this is j max's brainchild yeah. the engineering that sits behind the six wheel drive kit it is, uh, it's true, it's not for looks. This is not a car to take to the coffee shop on a Sunday yeah, and yeah. show everybody that I've got a six by six. Yeah. This, it's, it's built for a purpose yeah. and it works, yeah. you know? Well, mm. it, it gets a lot of attention. It does get a lot of attention. <laughs> that's, pull, that's the downside yeah. of it. Yeah. Pull it to a gas station, out and on the trails, just, everybody wants to see it. Yeah. It's, uh, but who doesn't love a six by six? Oh, it's beautiful, yeah. man. And, and, yeah. I, and I gotta tell you, I have a new appreciation for how capable. I, I honestly thought, oh yeah, it's cool looking. It's maybe you know just kind of a gimmick. Legitimately, is yeah. is capable out on the trail. I think a lot of people have that same reaction, especially when we built it. You know, we got a lot of comments in our, in our first videos when we built it. It's a show car. That mm -hmm. thing will never see dirt and whatever. And we took the thing up into Arnhem Land, yeah. one of the rem most remote places um, in Australia. Yeah. And we really proved what this car was capable of doing. So whilst it's here in the United States, I really want to continue that trend with it. I want to I want to tackle some of the iconic tracks. I, I want to do some of the harder stuff. And yeah. I want to use it. It's done its show bit. It's done mm -hmm. its promotional bit mm -hmm. now. Now it's time that this car can really right. go... Get, can uh, can show the capabilities of, sure. of what we what yeah. we built and you've been having fun making memories over the last uh, week oh, doing dude. just that very thing to be able to do it here with this and taking that thing through big bear like oh yeah i'm sure that a lot of people were nervous about us going in there and towing a trailer and yeah. we're long it's a big program yeah. and yeah. yeah you gotta yeah you gotta take your time you gotta think about what you're doing and yeah but yeah you can you can get it pretty much yeah. anywhere you need to go. And you and Sarah are in the X3, We're like in the Regina X3. and I? Yeah, so this is exact, identical to yours. So yep. this is the US spec Patriot mm -hmm. X3. Yep. Um, it's, yeah, fundamentally, it's exactly the same as yours. Mm -hmm. No difference, same yep. color. Um, they're just, look, it's the product that 
me and Sarah are there in our life, and this is how Patriot products keep on evolving. Mm. As Sarah and I's desires change, sure. or our world changes, you yeah. know, from young kids to teenagers to kids that might not want to come with us anymore, yeah. that's where the new designs of the Patriots keep on evolving. Yeah. And this is where we're at in our life right now. So this has probably put a stake in the ground and where Sarah and I are at now. And yeah. when a new model comes from Patriot Campers, you'll know that Sarah and I have, have moved direction, you know? <laughs> right on, man. Yeah. Well, uh, Justin, look, um, we've known each other for a while, buddy. Yeah, man. And, uh, and I, but we've never had the opportunity to wheel and camp together. And yeah. I just want to say it's been special and a blessing, dude, to hang out with you and your amazing family. Appreciate uh, it. I hope that we can do this many, many more times in the future, dude. Thanks for taking the time and, uh, and showing us your vehicles. Yeah, brother. I and appreciate mate, you. Mate, look, to you uh, and Marco especially, thank you so much for being so accommodating. Uh, and I've been saying it in my videos, but really to the whole of the United States. Like, thank you very much for having us. We've We've been received here amazingly we've been welcomed here and you guys have an amazing country and and um, and i'm really love that you guys have brought us out here to um to enjoy it with you and this is going to be the start of many to come raw man i can't wait all right marco it's awesome man dinner's almost ready it's almost ready and i'm just enjoying you guys uh talking <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> right, right on enough. brother awesome man. <laughs> Well, guys, I hope you really enjoyed that camp walk around. It's so awesome to see how the Australians do it and what some amazing vehicles they have built. If you are not subscribed to Patriot Games, go check it out. They have a whole playlist of old adventures that they've been on. Plus, they have been filming this adventure, which I think you guys will really enjoy. I hope you've enjoyed hanging out with us. And until next time, we'll see you in the next video.